Michi, this is BC, and welcome back to Minecraft. We are still in Plutonium, and as you can see off in the distance, that is the Water Temple. I am uh, out at our little island outpost, and as you can see, it has really become a thing. Cows, gardens, reeds, trees, even a little bit of uh, pretty design elements. It was a long road to get to this point. So, Thurby and I made the decision that rather than go back to base and uh, try and recoup a lot of materials and come back, back out here all OP and conquer the monument, we decided to basically start from scratch and use all the natural resources we could find around us and in the surrounding islands and build up our arsenal to take on the monument. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of our journey as we continued our progress towards defeating the Elder Guardian, or should I say Elder Guardians, and collect the treasures that lay deep within the underwater monument. <laughs> We, uh, so we're back. Thurby and I have been working diligently to recover from our ill-fated disaster when the Guardians completely destroyed us. And we have tunneled our way, slowly but surely, to the, uh, to where the, um, where the temple is. And I'm coming up inside the temple right now, and I'm slowly deleting all the water by using gravel and removing it. And, and sh there we go. I'm cursed again from the uh, from the Elder Guardian, but I've we've obtained lots of buckets of milk. So I need I'm actually out of milk now. So I need to go back, get more milk, and uh, we just kind of keep taking that to to ward off the effects. And slowly but surely, hopefully we can clear each room one by one. As soon as we find some sponge, it'll make it a lot easier because we can start sponging the place. And, uh, so maybe I should make that my priority to get to that room first. So, more to follow. I just cleared the first room here in the, uh, in the monument. And, uh, we definitely have some cool, cool, cool things to check out. If you haven't seen it already, look at the pattern going on there with the sea lantern. And I think I could just break it. And, nope. Okay, so silk touch... Jerk! <laughs> oh, I'm so sick of that guy. So you gotta silk touch the sea lanterns. But we got some crystals uh, from from that. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, more crystals. And I think you have to do... Hmm, I can't remember all the re recipes. I'll have to mess with that later, but... Alright, I think I got one more bucket of milk. I got all this water I need to get rid of. So I'm going to go head back, grab some more milk, get rid of this water, and uh, slowly but surely we're going to start pushing our way through and hopefully acquire some sponge. So I've just ran back. I've got a bunch of stuff. Uh, I'm trying to bring as much things as I can that, um, that, I, can, that I can destroy water without a lot of effort. So I got tons of ladders, tons of buckets, and I got some dirt and some cobblestone. I think I'm going to leave that off the bar. So if I remember right, that sponge was that direction. So we're going to head that way, even though I'd like to just find the guy right now. We're going to hold off. Ooh, did you guys make it? Uh, and Creeper just entered the room. Oh. Hey, guys. Wasabi. Where did that... I'm telling you what. We're doing pretty good. You're making it work. Oh. Where did this thing go? How did it go on the back side of the... Oh, he fatigued me again. That was quick. Dang. Okay. 
So I think this is the entrance. Okay, that might be the entrance or something. So we're just gonna tunnel our way across. Oh man, that noise is very annoying. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. You should come join us. Okay. We got all the water, now let's just suck it out with buckets. I just grabbed resources. Okay, we're headed over to the other quadrant now. Ladders. Oh no. What's that? Do they like bring you towards them? No, no just they hurt. Them. They're like arrows. Ranged attack. Mm. Die! Mm. Oh. oh, you're gone. I'm breathing. Mm. No! Oh! Don't shoot me! Ah! I can't get out of the way! Mm. Oh! <laughs> Using. Alright, we made it back to the Elder Guardian's chamber. I got all my gear and I got ladders, so I'm placing them strategically around here for air pockets. Uh, torches! Oh, he's got his spikes out. That's not good for us. Man, it's really sucking me in here. Oh, no, 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 no! Ah. Magic. Magic. Mm hmm. Wow. That really hurts. <laughs> oh, snap, he's still staring at me. Ah! Oh, kill him! Yeah! Give me your sponges! <laughs> Somebody's excited. <laughs> oh, da 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 one sponge. sponge. <laughs> one sponge. The epic battle for one sponge. And hopefully, I am no longer able to get mining fatigue anymore. No longer able? Yeah. <laughs> Make fun of me all you want. Oh my gosh. Got the sponge. Sweet. It's the wet sponge. Now, there... <laughs> yes. There was a chamber in here full of sponge. When we were swimming around earlier, we just gotta find it. But we got the Guardian, and we should no longer be fatigued. So, the future... Is ours. Is ours. <laughs> <laughs> now, now I can finally come down and play. <laughs> yeah, now you can come. <laughs> However, if we still do get fatigued... Oh! What? Maybe... So I heard that only one Elder Guardian spawned in each temple, but maybe that's not true. Or maybe it's just the curse of the temple. Why do I have a spoon? That's funny. A spoon? It's the shovel. Your gluttonous. Mm. Oh, the mining fatigue? Interesting. Well, more to follow, but hey, we got our sponge. Our most prized possession. <laughs> so, I think that's going to be it. Uh, Thurby's going to join up with me, and uh, we'll, we'll dork around here a little bit longer, but uh, definitely cool. The magical sponge of sponginess. I just found it. Right above us was the chamber full of sponge. Very exciting. Get up here and just ladder the heck out of it. Oh my gosh, it's so dark. Of 
Creeper, I was telling your mom that uh, that the uh, the sounds that you're hearing mm -hmm. um, it sound it reminds me a lot of the um, the the uh, place in Cloud City where they turn Han Solo into Carbonite. The sounds were like. Okay, well, I'm out of milk, but we found the sponge room, which is totally awesome. I think I'm going to go get some water breathing potion, make it out of this puff of fish that Thurby caught on the shores, which is terrific and fantastic. And uh, we're going to get some sponge, and then we are going to check out what I can do. And we're back! Oh! And the trees... <laughs> The tree just knocked me out. Tree grow. <laughs> uh, oh, Thur man. Thurby just suffocated while she's caught in a tree. It just grew while she was standing there. So okay. we just dried out the sponge, dried out the wet sponge to get a dry sponge or a regular sponge. And now, if we take it and we put it up in here, where are we at? Okay, right there. Bam! That's helpful. Yeah, so... But unfortunately, I'm fatigued. I don't know what... <laughs> that must have just ended and you put it on me again. I'll put it on you. Watch out. Um, maybe I can... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's tons of air up here now. Alright, so there's a good chance it just didn't get all these far-reaching corners. Which I should be able to just take care of with my buckets. And I'll try and get some torches up here very, very shortly. You have some. I do. I have some. This is also why I made you. Sweet. This is the one cool effect I like here that they did with the, uh, the wet sponges is that when they're wet, they actually have a water dropping animation from them, which is pretty neat. Sweet. Now, what do I need to take these things? Nothing special. Oh, snap. <laughs> Except lack of block lag. <laughs> so I'm just gathering up all my body parts here. Um, and these five diamonds that I just got. Let me tell you what. These, uh, these new water monuments are laggy. I mean, you already saw it before inside there. Um, you know, with the, with the, the uh, block breaking. But uh, just being near them is, uh, is really bad. So, I had just approached a creeper. He was just standing there still. I was just about to slash him up. And then he just exploded. No fizz noise, no nothing. It just, just exploded. So, yeah, evidently his cook-off timer is not even, not even going. So, but, we now have enough diamonds to make a diamond pickaxe. And, uh, that is going to lead us to being able to make a ender chest and that's gonna help bridge the gap between spawn and here we're trying to so Thurby and I you know we died we lost all our stuff we're trying to really kinda go organic on this so we're trying not to go back to spawn and get a bunch of crap trying to do the local resources yeah local <laughs> resources so keep it local keep <laughs> keep it local KM zeros mm -hmm. so and we're, we're doing, I mean, everything we've done with the Guardian so far has been, has been doing that that way. Uh, with the exception of the milk. Um, that the, that's just plain annoying. That. Yeah, <laughs> we, we did go get the milk. But we are not going to go back to spawn to get more milk. We are going to go try and find a cow. So, yeah. So hopefully we find that. And we're going to try and lasso that joker up and bring it back here and... 
have a little uh, uh, little milk stand, I guess. <laughs> Absolute success. So we we went straight uh what direction? Behind us. So we went north. We went straight north. And we found an island, and on the back side of the island were three little cows. And uh, it doesn't look like they swim very well anymore. Not as well as they used to. They're, they're uh, really, really slow. And with boats being so glitchy, we didn't want to just drag them along. So we are slowly Not but pushing. surely <laughs> we're pushing them across the water. Uh, I think I'm going the wrong way. To our lair. Uh, and... Um, you want to you want to make it so it says that you're facing south. So, almost to the shore. Once we get there, we're gonna set up a little, hard little milkmaid stand. In fact, I even have a name tag, so I might name her milkmaid. And uh, and we'll have some delicious parmalat from her sack of delicious and. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> that was. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> From her her teats of plenty, and uh, be able to, <laughs> be able to face the guardian. Oh, see you later. So we're back. We're back inside the uh, the monument, and uh, we we've milked our cow. We have all her parmalat goodness. And uh, we're both fatigued right now. <laughs> this guardian wears me out. Uh, so we're going to start first by collecting all of our sponges and ladders and, uh, and dry them out. And then we're going to go from there. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. Oh, got it. Like you have no chance for it to wear out. Which, that's very annoying. Agreed. Oh my gosh, really? It's interesting how he gets what? us... Bottoms up. Guardians are pretty noisy with their uh, laser beams. Yes. All right, he got. This room. I... You ready? Oh, well, I was. Doing that second. What? For real? Come on, guy. No, I'm just kind of cheap. Okay. This dude's a cheater. All right, go for it. Sponge it. Nope. I don't know. I got injured. I'm not exactly. Oh, there's a guardian right here. <laughs> yeah, not anymore, guy. <laughs> We are all stocked up and ready to go for the big assault on the treasure room, which is where the golden blocks are sitting. We're just going to go in there like gangbusters with our sponges and just suck it up. <laughs> <laughs> so, you ready? You take the low ground. I'm um, just waiting on one more sponge. Okay. Almost there. Milk in three, two, one, milk. 
Go! I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh snap, I'm gonna die too. Get out. Glitchy glitch. Come on, baby. Get this stuff with. Okay. I'm gonna die because my computer won't select the right. <laughs> you can press the numbers. I'm just gonna start putting my up like crazy. Mm. Oh, I think that's the last one. We got quite a mm. bit. Oh man, a lot um. of it just filled back up with water. Probably because of infinite sources. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh. No, no, no. You don't get to kill me, guy. Okay. Ah, uh, shucks. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, I'm about to die. Go, you can do it. Oh, oh, where did that guy come from? Oh. Alright. Oh, snap. How did we get back here? Because we never slept after we broke the beds. <laughs> when did we break the beds? We moved them a long time ago. We moved them. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, uh, well, we'll see you guys back out there. <laughs> <laughs> Rise and shine. <laughs> Good one. Uh, she could go all the way. If I could just stay in a straight line. <laughs> <laughs> Bam! Slam dunk. <laughs> oh, I think that's going to do it. Oh, I got one more dry sponge in my hand. Something over here. Work for us. And right. There. Oh. There you go. Suck it up. <laughs> so this is the main treasure room. And we are both fatigued and I'm actually out of milk. Do you have any milk? I do. I've got a couple. So why don't you do the honors? Drink some milk and then right between the sea lanterns, these four blocks in the middle, why don't you crack those open? Blocks of gold. Here, take this uh, iron pickaxe. I'll just throw it at your feet. Oh, I hate you, guy! And, uh, oh, now you're fatigued. But... We still have one more milk. So we need to find this loser. So, a bit of awesomeness, and unfortunately I didn't have my fraps loaded at the time, but up here, there was another chamber I discovered. Real quick, check it out. And there was another Elder Guardian up here. And uh, and he kept being attracted to this hole. I kept jumping up. Killed him. And since then, I have not been fatigued. Which is amazing. And so nice. So it turns out... That it is indeed the Elder Guardians that fatigue you. And there can be multiples... Uh, inside the um, inside the uh, the water monuments, so we fought three inside this water monument, and uh, oh my gosh! And these little buggers, man, they are more dangerous out of water than in water, because they're constantly pushing their spikes out, and uh, that's why I'm down to one heart right now, is because I tried to clear one out of my way and he tore me up. So I'm just going to keep uh, exploring. I think I've got the majority of this cleaned out. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then right here, I bet you there's another room. Perfect. So I'm just going to keep clearing this thing out. I think we've pretty much got all of it. 
And uh, I'm not trying to grief this place badly, but I will take a couple things here and there that still make it look natural. And, uh, yeah. Well, all right, all right, Amici. I know I said <clears throat> I wasn't going to grief it, but, <laughs> yeah. So, <clears throat> I got inspired. I got inspired, and that's why I did it. So, here's the deal. Guardians, they spawn in this area, in the confines of uh, the structure, but in water. And so they're not spawning in here because there's no water. They're all spawning outside. So eventually, up here in this big vacant area in the ceiling is where we're going to build our guardian farm. And then uh, they will drop down in this area. We'll farm them up, get all their goodies, endless uh, shards and crystals and all that good stuff. And uh, it's another project for another time. But uh, anyway, everything's kind of organized and uh, I'm leaving here with a full inventory of taking all the dark prismarine, all the sea lanterns, all the sponges, and leaving a considerable amount of the prismarine and the prismarine blocks. And uh, yeah, and I left this structure here uh, in the in the the uh, monument just because it's really awesome. But believe it or not. Um, the way it generated in this structure was actually off-center. It, um, it was more in this area right here. So I tore it all down and rebuilt it about, you know, five, six blocks over. And then put this framework up here just to just kind of give it some coolios. And, uh, you know, like I do, right? We go to a new area, we explore, we explore, and after we get what we want, we build. So I have built a new exit point going down these stairs here. Here's our one wide tunnel. So when we're coming into this area, eventually I want to put some rails. So this will be the rail room right here and into this chamber here. Oh yeah. Took advantage of the uh, different colors and uh, the water and the lanterns and everything. I think it's, I think it's working. It reminds me of like an old cistern or something. I don't know, like a cathedral. So, yeah, that's how we do. So, folks, I am gonna head back to spawn. I've actually been making tons of trips back and forth between here and my ship already to get all this uh, black stained clay that's. Uh, make it up the walls behind us but uh, now it's time to bid adieu and head back and uh, get working back on the golf course I'm excited about having this prismarine now I should have a pretty swank bathroom in our clubhouse whenever uh, we start working on that and uh, yeah so I hope you enjoyed this little uh, little two-part series with myself and Miss BC little Thurby uh, we had a great time uh, collaborating and uh, goofing off together, and uh, hopefully we can do more of that for you in the future. But until next time, Amici, ciao a tutti, buona giornata, and if you're in my time zone, buona serata, and I'll see you later. Ciao, ciao.